Uh, my name's uh, Christopher. I mainly teach uh, film editing on a course here called Film Media Production. That means that I spend a lot of my time in twilight lit rooms with not many other people. Uh, so I'm quite excited to be here today. And a little bit, a bit anxious because there's a lot of people here that uh, I don't usually meet. Um, I also teach a theory module. Uh, which is called The Social Impact of Digital Media. Uh, it's a sociological based module um, and it deals with a lot of the contemporary debates, uh, provocative and non provocative, around the social impact of digital media. We bring in debates uh, increasingly on how businesses install social media to make money. Um, so, one of the things that I wanted to do with that was to bring in some businesses so our students could learn about that straight from the horse's mouth. This brings me over to Luke. Morning everybody, uh, my name's Luke. Uh, I'm from a university department called the Venture Matrix Scheme uh, and what we essentially do is uh, we source, manage, uh, coordinate curriculum based work related learning projects as part of the modules. Uh, we do that from disciplines such as computing, business, occupational therapy, uh, and humanities, and pretty much everything in between. So, as you can imagine, I have a really interesting job uh, working with all sorts of businesses, from big blue chip organisations such as IBM, the post office, things like that, to really sort sort of small and medium enterprises, uh, Sheffield-based businesses such as Atkinson Walker Saws and, and Raw 2K. Uh, and we also work with smaller charities and, and, and we've got quite a few charities in Sheffield such as Sheffield Royal Site for Blind and St Luke's so quite diverse, quite lots of range of organisations there but the feedback we were getting from them uh, was that they're all crying out for social media they might be using it in certain ways but some need validating that they're actually using it correctly some just don't have a clue, don't have the time and really sort of need that assistance so uh, so, talking this over with Luke, I saw a fantastic opportunity for our third year students uh, to be consultants for these local businesses. Um, one of the important things for these businesses is to turn likes and retweets and engagement into money. Um, uh, and that's become increasingly important, particularly for local businesses in the current economic climate. For our students as well, they've got a lot of informal skills. It gives them an opportunity to understand the value of those informal skills in the job market. Um, the other thing that we've become increasingly aware of is they have informal skills, but they're not very well developed. Um, so it gives them an opportunity to develop those skills and understand the deeper um, opportunities that lie in their social media skills. Yeah, so all this happens, uh, we invite the clients in on the very first session of teaching, which, which we don't really give them a lot of time to get their heads around what's happening. Uh, we give this quite a quick turnaround, it happens in four or five weeks, so the students are very much, they've got the momentum, they're straight into it, five weeks quite prescribed, straight through. Uh, in the third week of that we bring in a, an external social media consultant to sort of teach the students about the, the business value of social media. and how it can be used for organisations and it's worked really well. We've been running this for four years now haven't we Chris and yeah. it's, it's really developed in that time and feedback's been great which we'll sort of touch on next. Yeah, uh, we've had nothing but positive feedback from the students over the four years of running it. They've suggested changes to it, particularly the time frame, which is why we've got now a much more condensed time frame, uh, which they enjoy. Um, we've also uh, noticed They've gone on to do a bit of freelance in their third year for some of their um, students. One more minute, bugger. Um, some of their suggestions got implemented even before the final presentation, which has been good. And the student work is better, so it looks good on me, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, we've also got some great feedback from the clients uh, over the years. Here's some of it. Yeah, um, we've got some more great feedback from the clients, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but don't take our word for it, we've brought in one of the clients to tell you a bit about their experience. Hello, I'm James from Young Enterprise, which is one of the uh, UK's leading uh, financial education and enterprise charities. We needed some help with our social media um, and getting our messages out to 
our stakeholders and we work with some Christmas students um, which gave us some real fresh insights into how we can use our social media and it was great working with the students um, it's really helped us to kind of develop our social media going forward.